Kids Kidney Research and the Garfield Western Foundation have co-founded a unique clinical service running at London's Royal Free Hospital. The clinic is principally to see young people, young people who have a chronic kidney disease, mainly those who have nephrotic syndrome. And the clinic was set up as a transition service so that children could move from their paediatric unit where they would see uh, doctors through a transition service ultimately into the adult phase of their treatment. The transition age between paediatric settings and adult settings is usually around 17, 18 they start to come to adult services and that's exactly when lots of changes are happening outside of the hospital environment. They are growing up wanting to be independent or maybe not in some cases and then they have this added element that they have to come to hospital and start to manage their health as well. So it's quite a difficult transition time in general. What is different about this clinic, this transition service, is that the patients are seen by myself, a paediatrician, a paediatric nephrologist, Ruth, an adult nephrologist, together with Gemma, who's a young adult worker. And I don't believe that there is another uh, clinic such as this anywhere where the patient is seen by the three professionals uh, in the clinic room at the same time. I've had nephrotic syndrome since I was two years old, I'm 25 now, been working for two and a half years outside of university and have been on medication basically the entire time. Being able to go into a clinic where I know that the doctor's thinking specifically about my age range already before I even walk through the door, that makes me much more comfortable to come in here and be more open with both the adult care worker and the clinician. So we can all easily make sure they've got enough of their medication, we can arrange them to have blood tests and urine tests when it's a bit more convenient for them, they can pick up prescriptions. So I think because, again, we are very accessible, we can be a bit more flexible and actually work around them and their lives probably a little bit more. Some tell me that before they just felt like they were lost in a system where there was, everyone was old. You know, everyone's older than me. There's no young people here and now they feel like they are actually acknowledged and cared for and they feel that that transition from paediatric to adult setting has actually been not so difficult. I think it's extremely helpful because you know that someone that you can talk to about things that people might consider more mundane but is really important to the individual, the way that she's present is to help you through whatever you as the individual consider important. Youth work in a hospital setting, it's a new thing, but it's starting to catch on and people are realising that young people do need that just that little extra bit of support and care as they're travelling through paediatrics up to adult services just to help them and empower them to take care of their, their general health. Meanwhile, Kids Kidney Research continues to fund groundbreaking research into nephrotic syndrome. Steroid sensitive nephrotic syndrome, which is the most common significant problem with nephrotic syndrome in children. So we bridge the pediatric world, meaning children and adults, there's also form in adults having this particular problem. But with colleagues in Manchester, we collected hundreds of samples the past years and we now utilize modern technology, modern genetics to understand where is the problem, why is this happening in these young children. And Kids Kidney Research really made a difference for our success, willing to give us some money to promote the science and, and the clinical care of these children. We have reasons to believe that within the next 24 months we will understand the genetic basis of steroid-sensitive nephrotic syndrome. And that would be a milestone forward.